Hello. In this video, we are going to create a drop-down menu uh, in Python 3 using TK Enter, but we're going to set it up as a class. So again, if you're following along um, with my class um, and you're a younger student uh, and, and aren't familiar with classes and objects yet, I recommend doing this not in this class structure, but I always like to make a non-class version and a class version for people who are kind of looking at these different ways of constructing a program. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import TK Enter as TK. Um, and again, this is just the TK Enter module that holds all of the different um, functions that will create the, the widgets that we put in a typical GUI box. I just call it TK. It just happens to shorten things for me. Um, and I'm going to create a class, and it's going to be called Display. And I'm going to put a constructor here. And a constructor is a special method that is called the first time, um, or it's called when I create an instance of the class. So in Python, they look funny. It's def underscore underscore init underscore underscore bracket self. And I could just print constructing object. So a constructor is really just a special method. Um, but what's important to understand about it is the constructor is always called when you instantiate an object. That is, you create an object for the first time. A class is a blueprint. When you create an instance of the class, um, you create an object. So to create an instance, I say display, that's, let's call it display1 equals, and then I create an instance of the class by calling the class like that. So if I save this now, oh, and I have to clear up my last one, quit. Let's just do a clear. Let's drag this down a little bit. Um, I'm going to say Python3, GUI, drop, down menu, class.py, and we see their constructing object. So what we do is we kind of do the same thing we would if we weren't working in classes, but we have to make all our variables what are called instance variables. And that means they can be accessed anywhere inside the class. So I'm going to say self.root equals tk.tk. .tk. So I'm going to use the tk constructor to build that basic uh, main menu. And I hit enter a bunch of times and say self.main loop. And if I save this now, and we just give it a quick run, Ah, I made that classic mistake, self.root.mainloop. <laughs> so let's go back in, and there it is. Again, this looks no different than what I did before. Um, the benefit of setting things up as a class is that it allows some easy management, um, easier management of things later on. Okay, so I'm going to make self, I'm going to make a list of strings, and these are going to store all of the options that I can have. So eggs, comma, bunny, comma, chicken. All right. And so these are, are going to store the options in my drop down menu. Um, a little notation piece, because these don't change throughout the entire program, they're constants, um, I capitalize the word. It's something that programmers do to help keep track of things. So now what I do is I say w dot or self.w, which is going to be the name of my, actually let's call it drop down menu <laughs> equals, and I'm going to say tk.option menu, and I'm going to give it root or self.root, and now I'm going to pass it self.options zero, self.options one, self dot options two. So basically, let's minimize this. There we go. I'm going to pass it the main window is being packed into, and then all the options that can be put in. And then I'm going to say self dot drop down menu dot pack. Now, actually, I'm not 100% sure this is going to work, but let's find out. So I'm going to pull up my terminal again, kill my last version. Let's clear the screen. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, OPT. Did I spell it wrong? Self dot. Oh, I put option. These are all options. Name in the variables. And there it is. Bunny chicken. Now you'll notice something funny that they didn't actually all pop up. That's because when I create um, an option menu, there's a second parameter I have to pass in. 
and that's what's called a string var. So I'm going to call this self.var and tk.stringvar. So what is a string var? This is a special method that I can attach to, or a special variable that I can that I can link to something like a drop-down menu. And what this allows me to do is keep track of the options that are selected. So I'm going to say self.var, and I'm going to set this variable first to options at zero, which is essentially our eggs. So I go into the options list and the zeroth index. Now, what I can do is I can set this var dot or self dot var dot trace. And I'm going to trace, I'm going to put a trace on this. And what that means is every time that we, we write to this, we're going to invoke this method called self dot change, which is an instance method called change. And in fact, the reason I didn't see eggs when I ran this before is the second parameter has to be self dot var. And now I have to write this instance method change. So I'm going to say def change self. And I'm going to print option menu changed. So let's save this. Let's close my last one. Ooh, not hide. What did I just do? Quit. There we go. Oh. Self.options. There we go. Let's try this again. Self.var. What seems to be the problem here? I'm going to pause this for a second and troubleshoot this. So this is one of those cases where I'm glad the clock isn't showing. Um, I'm not going to restart this video, but this is one of those places where I've made some really significant typing errors, and I stared at them, and I could not see them for the life of me. <laughs> so if you were following along, and you saw me make those mistakes, and you were thinking, what was he doing? Well, I think I caught them all. So let me talk about where my mistakes were. First issue is that I didn't actually access options properly. I used some, I can't remember what the notation was, but um, I could create my string var, and then I actually set it to the option that I want. So I'm setting it to option zero, which is eggs. If I wanted it to be bunnies, I would just set it to one. Um, and then I was having trouble with this trace function. Um, and again, that was had to do with some indenting. So I do self.var.trace. And what this essentially does is it puts a trace on that variable saying that whenever anyone writes to that variable, that's this w parameter. I could make it an r for a read parameter, um, run a function. And that's this function down here. Um, it's an instance method, so itself, and then it takes a variety of parameters, which I would have to go look up. So I could just print, and I could say self.var.get. And basically, this takes our variable, and it gets the value that is assigned to it. So if I save this, and I run this, notice it's set the bunny to start. There are my eggs. There's my bunny, and there's my chicken. Um, Beyond this example here, which I'm going to leave up because, you know, this is, illustrates my point I often say to students is um, if you're up late at night and you're trying to solve a problem with code, um, just put it away. Show it to someone the next day because sometimes seeing those little errors on there that are so obvious to someone else are invisible to you. Um, so with that said, I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.